by a, a decent stretch. So you can see why he's a dollar thirty-five. He isn't the best of beginners, however, and maybe just maybe his form's tapered off a shade time-wise on that performance. So we'll see how he goes. At his best, he'll be very, very hard to beat, and the price suggests so. Green light on. Set now for race two. Away and racing, and Dr Nightingale about third or fourth away, but getting a decent run through. Out very quickly, Brocky Sands, the first starter, is going to lead and set up two lengths to Pancho Tommy. Up to third, Dr Violet, then Dr Nightingale, who's got it all to do, and he's going nowhere. Well back, Reality Jewel, run topper and Omega Hondo, but the first starter, Brocky Sands, is in complete control. Three lengths clear. Brocky Sands won it easily by three and a quarter to Pancho Tommy. Now third, Dr Violet, just over Dr. Nightingale, he, he just never looked a, a winning hope there. Then Reality Jewel, Omega Hondo and Run Topper back at the rear of the field. 22.42 for Brocky Sands, the first starter going all of the way. Well, maybe that 22.20 was just a bit of a fluke from Dr. Nightingale because his form around that run just hasn't got back down there. He was in a little bit of trouble early, but he was never in a threatening position and Brocky Sands getting the jump, controlling the race for Les Hughes. Makes a nice debut, 3.80 to the first mark, 22.43. And uh, he was away with the money very, very early on there, the blue. 